Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Scarlett. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I'm so excited to show you guys. I'm finally getting around to making this video. Um, I promised you guys that I would make two individual videos of the new eyeshadows that I just got from Five Below. If you have not checked out that uh, makeup um, haul from Five Below and Marshalls, Go ahead and check that out. I'll put the uh, link below. So I featured three eyeshadows that I got from Five Below in that video. And I promised that I would do a little uh, eyeshadow tutorial. Not tutorial, but kind of like a fun look using those two mini eyeshadows. So I'm finally getting around to doing that video. Um, it'll be in two separate videos. One using the purple shadow, which I have here that I'm going to do first. And another one featuring the brown shades. Um, so I have here, I chose to do the purple one first. Um, so this is the W7 Amplify Pressed Pigment Palette. And this is Unmistakable, which features these gorgeous purple violet shades and a little bit of nude shades. Um, in my last video, if you already saw it, I did already mention the things that I absolutely love about these palettes. I mean, they're five bucks, five below, cannot be that. But I just love how they're packaged. To me, packaging is just a whole other, like, positive part of the whole, like, makeup process and eyeshadow purchasing. I absolutely love that it's, first of all, it's travel size. It's mini, easy, thin, small, easy to put in your bag. I absolutely love that it's magnetic closure and a mirror. Can't go, cannot go wrong with that. Cannot do any better than that. So these shades, there are five um, shades ranging from creams, nudes to violets and a dark plum. Let's see, the, mm, a plum and a brown. brown. So here we are. So I'm gonna do a really pretty eye look with that. I'm gonna start with my brows. I'm wearing here my um, Daria. Okay. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I, I got this from Five Below as well. But um, like about maybe two months ago, I'm, I know every location of these stores are different, but I absolutely am loving my location because the Five Below store because I had this awesome Daria t-shirt. Those of you that remember back in the day, Daria, yes. <laughs> so I, I saw it and I had to get it just because I love the show so much. And, but the makeup, the eyeshadows, um, and the lip glosses actually, but these eyeshadows are like incredible. So I really wanted to make a point to do a video of showing these eyeshadows because I absolutely love them. So I'm going to start with my eyebrows. Um, the only, um, all of these brushes and eyeshadow, like, um, pencils and stuff that I'm using are, um, from other places. The only thing I'm really featuring um, as the eyeshadow here, but I just wanted to kind of complete the look anyway. Um, so I'm just going to finish up. It's kind of already done, but it kind of faded. Um, but I just kind of wanted to finish the look and kind of brush up, touch up, whatever it's called. My, um, look because it's very late in the night and, um, by now, a lot of my makeup is faded, but anyway, so I mean, I'm just gonna also touch up my eyeliner. Um, so I know that with my coloring, I really tend to go um, towards violet shades, purple shades, and browns. Um, so that's why I got two of these little mini palettes, five shades each, um, a brown and a purple. Um, so, um, I knew right away this is the colors that I knew would be good, really good for me, but when I saw it, uh, you know, they have um, blues, browns, purples, greens. Um, I definitely could do the blue. I think I could do any of them, really, but these are the two that really I just grabbed. Um, and so I'm going to be testing the pigment, the strength of it. I'm going to be testing the... Um, 
any kind of fallout, anything like that. So you're going to see it in real time, whatever. Um, I don't really heavily edit these videos, you know, so you're going to see how it really reacts real, like really how I put it on. So I'm just, I finished my eyeliner. I'm just going to put it just to finish the look. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with this nice cream, a little bit like darker cream shade. Um, and this is going to be my kind of a lower shade. So you're going to see, I'm going to use my mirror. So any shadow that has a mirror, any palette that has a mirror is automatically in my book. Like, you know, it's an automatic winner for me because you would not believe, I mean, I'm sure you can totally relate and just how simply like um you know easier it is just to have a palette that you have everything in there that you need um convenient that's the word i was looking for just have something convenient it is to have a mirror in there like it's, i mean you cannot you cannot get any better than this like really versatile shades easy magnetic closure small thin mirror what yeah that in my book i just packed literally for me i'm thinking like <laughs> whenever i travel again um i just pack this one and the brown i'm good like you know come on now so i already put it's kind of creamy. You get like really light, a little darker, and then the darkest of the light. So I put this one right here. Those are names on them or anything. It just shows colors. Nope. So anyway, and then for my all over shade, I will obviously focus on this purple. This is like a dark, this is actually a little more, um, not glittery but a little more bright than the other shades <clears throat> so put a good amount on there and I'm just gonna tap just do it how I normally do it and it's just already you can see how much how little I put and how much it actually gives out so that in itself I'm loving it so already right away I'm loving these shades I put a small amount but Basically, like I just use this purple shade, and I already put one, um, so there's no fallout. Already, cause you can see no fallout. This is gonna be my second application on my left eye. First, I start by dabbing it, and then I kind of brush it to buff it out. Buffing is your friend. Here you can see, but I always clean it up in the ends um, at the very end. So you can already see that there's no fallout, nothing falling down here. This is my second application on my right eye. So it's very faint, the first application, the very first time I put it on, I dab it. And now I'm just brushing it with the second application and kind of spreading it around. Buffing is your friend. <laughs> um, so for eyeliner, eyeshadow, yeah. Okay, so this is my flat brush. Um, so that's just my second application and you can already see how beautifully bold it is. I love this violet shade. What I personally like to do, the brush that I personally like to use to kind of clean up the edges. It's not made for this, but I don't care. <laughs> a contouring brush, <laughs> which in a way it makes sense, right? So I don't clean it. I'm not totally trying to take it off. I just kind of buff it, buff, 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 to kind of lighten it up a little bit, you know? And then I kind of go into the whole thing, but I always, go up to kind of bring the Im the image of the eye up 
you know, to raise everything. Because, yeah. So, everybody you can see. So no fallout, really easy application. It took me about only two times to really get an amount on the net you can actually strongly see. But even with the first one, if you really wanted to do it, just a super soft casual look, just apply it once and I think you're fine. So, oh my God, here we go, this camera always shows something different. So this in itself is just gorgeous and if you really wanted to kind of lighten it up more on the brow bone and the inner inner area I would put this most lightest color of the creams so there's no glitter so that's what it shows so I'm just gonna do this right here with my finger because it's just very simple very light not even touching anything in this outer area so the powder consistency the feeling of it is just very creamy. Now, no scent, no fallout, um, no sticky, nothing like that. And I'm just going to put a very small amount in the inner corner. And that is it. And if I really wanted to make it a bold look, I would just keep applying the violets and a little bit of the brown um, if I wanted to do something like that. But even just what I did, I feel like it's just enough. Um, so I have to say for the price, $5 and change, the pigment, no fallout, great strong pigment, even with just one application, extra wonderful pigment with two applications. If you wanted to go a little bit bolder, you can add a little bit of this dark brown, chocolatey brown, I guess with the violets but even then it's just even without that I think it really does its job I think for the price and everything for the brand and everything this is amazing amazing the violets I have to say it reminds me of a I want to say a Laura Mercier violet shadow that I got about four years ago that shade is a little less shimmery, but pretty much kind of like the same. So if you want to go that route, you honestly could. Um, so again, this is the Violet um, palettes from my, the Five Below eye, sh eye Makeup purchase that I did. In the next video, I'm going to be featuring the brown shades. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys. So this is the brown shadow. So here now you saw I did the purple violet. So this is the brown shadow that I got. Same brand, W7. <sighs> from New York. Um, well, from England, New York, you know how that is. The brown palette is Knockout. So here's the brown palette. So you see that same kind of, it's this I think a little more shimmery than the purple one. This is going to be the next palette that I feature. As you can see, it's the same packaging. Magnetic closure, small, thin, absolutely awesome, and a mirror. Okay, so with the brown, you're going to have those same, same, well, it just goes into that later cream, and then it goes already into a nice golden bronzy uh, shade, and then a little more of the brown. A little lighter than this purple palette and then you have these two matte light brown tanny little darker brown shades so it's a little different but still in the brown obviously you know more of a brown family of shades I feel like with the purple palette um, you know it just goes along great with the main shades it's just kind of um, complementing the main shade so in this case obviously you know this one is brown and this one is the purple a violet um, so yeah so absolutely in the next video I'm going to be doing this kind of a video this kind of a look with 
the brown shaded palette. And I'm going to finish this, of course, with some lips. Okay, just to keep it really simple or whatever you want to do for this um, look anyway, I'm just going to be using this really simple Rimmel Gloss. This is the... Well, it's sold. <laughs> I don't have the name for it anymore. The Brilliant Longwear. That's just hella old. I don't care. But anyway, just a nice shade. Darker pink. Dark rosy shade. And I think it would go really well with this color. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so, okay, anyway, so like I said, I think these two, the brown and the violet shaded palette go awesome for my coloring, natural redhead, brown eyes, this is why I kind of go towards these two colors the most just because it really works well on most of my coloring, but I think also blues, greens, anything really would look really good. So um, I just wanted to show you guys a look, just kind of show you guys the consistency and kind of how it feels and the fallout and all that, which there is none um, from this, I mean, five and five dollars and change, like what? So, <laughs> okay. so. Yeah, I'm definitely going to stick with this, and I absolutely love it. And it's a gorgeous, bright, pigmented, simple, small little palette. It's travel size. Go check out your local five below. Um, I know every, lo every location is different, but definitely check it out because these are, like, awesome. Awesome. All right, well, anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, I'm definitely loving this palette. This is my new favorite. And I'm, although you can't beat the price and the quality, like I'm not complaining at all. So I'm really happy that it turned out really, really well. This is actually my first time, honestly, my first time using this violet shaded palette. But my, but I have actually used the purple one. I mean, I'm sorry, the brown one before. But I'm going to make a separate video showing you guys a look using this brown one. So I'm going to let you guys go for now. I hope you'll have a wonderful, wonderful day. And thank you so much for joining me. All right. See you guys later. Bye-bye.